Hello everybody, this is the Cup Base Games again, and welcome back to a Crossout 101 guide. Today we will be talking about the, about the customization options of guns. If you take a look at these two guns right here, you can see they're both AC-43 repairs. However, they look slightly differently. And it's not because I painted them or whatever, because if I paint all of them and paint them back with the thinner, you can see how this one changed as well. Oh, this thing is sand colored, this thing is dark. Also, if you take a look at this barrel front here, compared to this barrel, and the tip of this part, this tip of the part, they're all di they are slightly different. So, some other details like this as well. This is because this one right here is customized, and this one is not. Also, if you take a look about, uh, as it between the different ones, you can also see there are in different inventory slots. So first off, what are exactly the customization options? If you go to the market, or if you go to factions, to the engineers, to the legendary manufacturing part, you can find the Aristance pack. It was a container with a random customization part. This thing costs 900 scrap metal, 150 wires, and 150 copper to create. However, it's rather expensive eh, to hire this single um, sing a single workbench 750 for fi uh, 5 parts 2025 for 15 parts the 15 parts is obviously cheaper because uh, because if you take uh, 750 for for 3 times you get out 2250 so it's uh, 225 points cheaper if you buy it like this the other spec itself can also be found on the market however I'm um, not gonna go into that. The customization options are as follows: you got the uh, line machine gun short in the form of Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg gets mainly just a paint job right here. No real other change to the gun itself. Maybe the barrel right here, but not really that much change. Next one is vacuum. Vacuum has yeah, some kind of vacuum cleaner part right here by the looks of it, with bullets going up. The paint job. As well as this rotary cylinder around the gun itself. This is the main change. This is based off a MG13 uh, equalizer gun. So even though this is a common part, it's for an epic weapon. The piranha is based on a pyro launcher. It gets its lar it, it gets it a look of a piranha with the l uh, large spikes up top and in the front. And it's one of the mo biggest changes for all of, all of them. I would say. Fine tooth is based on a 76mm uh, 76 judge cannon and mainly gets its paint job right here with these tooths on both sides. The enemy mine is based off a buzzsaw and just gets this, uh, this little paint job and these little parts of metal right here. For the rare ones, you got first the Screamer, which is uh, based off the Thunderbolt shotgun, which got almost an entire overhaul with all the different looks. This this different saw blades up top, as well as some kind of flamethrower barrel. Personally, uh, personally, I think this is one. This is one of the coolest one out there for the rares. And the second one is the red bird, the one that I showed you. Looks like kind of bird with the front right here. It gets a barrel extension. The some kind of tongue right here. Looks uh, look if you take a look at it like a dragon tongue, and these some kind of wings on the sides. Uh, the shark is again a, a short machine gun. However, it gets a different barrel right here with the uh, shark top. The rear is mostly the same, although it's painted. This makes it look like a Lewis gun, in my opinion, which is pretty cool. The boombox is for the wasp launcher. You get this stereo box on this one side, and it gets this almost firework launching tubes on the other side. It also gets some small details like right here, little paint jobs, as well as this skull in the front and handle up top. Next ones are the epics. There only are two epics on the one. They're all 
through three of them, but there are, and there are no legendaries or relic for 50 gems. The epic is the Phoenix, which is pretty large overhaul for the 25 uh, the 25 millimeter whirlwind auto cannon. Gets this Phoenix head, painted side, new painted sides, these all these armor parts right here, and and a new barrel. This is another one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, I think it just looks like a beast of a weapon. Next one is the dragon, based off the. Uh, sorry, sorry, I gotta check the original one's name. Don't know every single one of them out of mad. The fat man. The fat. Uh, it gets tracklings on the sides, right here. It's cool. A some kind of dragon hat in the front. Also, a lot of these spikes on the sides and up top. This gets these little details on the barrel itself. And it looks like a Chinese weapon for me right now. Not really like a Western dragon, but more like a Chinese style weapon also. These links are probably some kind of reference to Samurai, so it does fit, fit into that picture. Last one is the Moonlight, which is based off the uh, explosive spear. I do want to point out this is not the. Uh, uh, epic one, but the rare one. So, this explosive spear, and not the Lancelot. So, you, if you buy a Lancelot, you cannot change it. This is for the explosive spear. It gets a more or less medieval look, with similar to the Lancelot spear, with this pretty cool front and this uh, rotated metal bar right here. How these work is basically if you buy one of these parts I'm not gonna buy I buy a one myself because they're rather expensive. So as you can see 354 to customize short line machine gun which is like two coins on its own. You basically buy it and you get it in your storage right here past the paint. Similar it's just it's accounted for as a resource. Then you do right mouse button and you get a um, uh, apply on part button right there uh, in the pop-up screen. And then you get a screen similar to the fusion if you for example do this. Then you get a plus uh, little plus right here. If you go to the fusion like here, you can basically get this button like this and then you, you click that part and then you get this inventory and you can you can get only get the gun of the same kind. So if you get the repair, first you only get the repair customization, so you have to click it and you'll get it like this. I do want to point out that you can still fuse customized weapons. However, if you go back to storage, you cannot sell them. You can still sell for gym as well, but you cannot sell them any longer. And finally, I want to point out that these guns both have the exact same stats. So I'm going to point them out both, and I'm going to split the weapons. So I'm going to right mouse button. Got to drive up here. Right at point blank range. And if you can see, one shot of this one, 18 damage. Okay, that. By the looks of it, the gun is a bit random and awkward. But anyway, these guns should have the exact same stats, so if they behave any differently, they that would be a bug, so then you have to report that. But anyway, they have the exact same heat rating. Like this and exact same cooldown. So yeah. The customization does has no effect on the actual combat performance of the gun. The only thing it has is makes the gun look different and maybe people won't recognize it as a gun right away so that they don't start shoot it immediately because it looks differently. That's the only difference you can have. But looking at this right here, you can also see that the uh, vertical aiming motor is also slightly bigger on the customized one and it does not have the horizontal little motor. Like the one on the right has any little bars right there. 
stuff like that. There are small, there are small little details and stuff like that. You might not see them right off the bat, but you can see they're really, really different. Anyway, that concludes the guide on custom initiation parts. I hope you all enjoyed. Comment down below what you think, uh, thought about it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.